many seconds of air? 10, 9, 8. Wait, 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 wait. We need a proper background here. Proper background. All right. That's more like it. Okay. All right, Robert Hager here with breaking news. Macy Lawrence retiring from Woodstock Community Television. Headed south, hailed by all for a great successful run. But stay tuned, film at 11. And Macy, Macy helped me in so many projects and was there in every meeting faithfully through the town chambers, always with a camera and uh, just a, a, an icon in our community. So Macy, we'll miss you. Have a great retirement. Macy Lawrence, I'm station manager at uh, Woodstock Community Television. Uh, Macy, I really think of him as just an unpretentious doer. He's been a great facilitator of news and information to the community through his work with uh, Woodstock Community Television and saw Macy at endless meetings, uh, always the last guy to be at the meeting and uh, just a wonderful community spirit there. We, I watched Macy take something we passed in the legislature, the open meeting law, and really implement it. I mean, M Macy, made it real and made access to public meetings uh, a gift to the community. And for that, we will always be very grateful. Macy, as you know, loves to work and he loves to be creative. So he put together a very vigorous and demanding production schedule. And that's all the way from high school graduation to a lecture uh, at the uh, at the library. And uh, he really transformed the amount of local content available to the community. And I've always been in awe and amazed at what Macy has accomplished um, running uh, one of the smaller access stations in the state. With that, he has shown that it can be done and you can create a, a, a vibrant, um, station no matter how small but um hello macy as i think back on it you've been a fixture in my life for well over 20 years there's so many things i could mention I think of your digitizing the photo collection at the Woodstock Historical Society when I was director there. I think a, a testament to you will be that panorama of the villages upstairs at the town hall. I remember you made that from four or five different glass plate negatives, if I remember right. I think of all your work with Rotary and your trips to Nicaragua. So many times you went and actually you took my wife Dee with you and she talks of it to this day. Um, I also remember back in 98, you were my sponsor when I joined Ro uh, the Rotary Club. So that's another touchstone for me. Uh, you helped me with our Battlefield Preservation Banquet for over 10 years. I still have some of those wonderful posters that you made uh, so we could advertise. But mostly, I want to thank you for all of your selfless work uh, over the years behind the camera at so many venues across town. Um, in the 90s, he... Um, did quite a bit to digitize um, our photo collection and um, it was really nice to talk to him about those projects and the legacy that he left and also just being a, a colleague in the Woodstock uh, um, I wish I had more time uh, with him I, I realized that he's the guy that I'd want to be um, exiled on a deserted island with um, but I think his greatest quality is that he listens you know every time I'm with him you know, you feel like you're with an old friend. 
so uh, I heard that Macy did large displays, and I was amazed to find out up on Peterkin Hill that Macy was put to, putting together eight four by eight foot uh, displays and laminating and doing all kinds of stuff. We started doing some freelance jobs together because of my background in advertising. This was one. Oh my God done for the Perkins Academy in um, South Woodstock. Uh, we then continued by doing posters to get people to become mentors. So working with Macy through the years was a treat. He never refused anything that I ever asked of him. And you have been the person that I've been able to call and talk to whenever I had issues or we just wanted to shoot the breeze or go and have a beer or grab a lunch here or there. Quite an honor and pleasure to know you and yeah, I've learned a lot from you as well. I mean, this is a man of many talents and many interests. So I also think of him going down to Nicaragua. And this became a passion of Macy's. That that became something that mattered so much to him was, it, it was wonderful. I was wonderful. First uh, documenting eye care missions that went down and treated uh, uh, local people uh, without access to uh, eye care. And he spent a, an enormous amount of energy and time taking hospital equipment that w was no longer used in hospitals because they had updated it and uh, making it available in Nicaragua to hospitals. And, and then he began uh, actually to do some building projects where they would go into a community and help them construct a, a, a school. And he, so not only what he did here, but what he did there really, I think, speaks volumes about the character uh, and, uh, and the sensitivity that, that I think he has. He's very revered in Nicaragua. He worked with a uh, group from Massachusetts and, and shipped, I don't know how many containers of medical supplies to the country incubators for babies, beds, things that we take for granted that they didn't have available to them at all. Hello and happy retirement. I want to say thank you for all that you've done for me in the community and I've learned more here than I can say that I've learned at school and I owe a lot to you and I hope that I can fill your shoes. I'm really sad that I have to say goodbye on a computer. It's time to put your feet up, have a drink on the balcony somewhere in Nicaragua. I hope it's a safe place in Nicaragua. And I'm gonna miss you terribly. I always enjoyed spending time with Macy. We usually found plenty of things to talk about. It always seemed like Macy knew just about every other person that lived in, in Woodstock. I really miss spending time with him. I miss going out on shoots with him. Uh, Macy, thank you for being such a good friend and a teacher. And I wish you the best of luck. And uh, I hope we have some more contact after you move out of town. Yeah, take it easy. You deserve it. <laughs> you know, enjoy life a little bit. And uh, when somebody asks you to volunteer, say no. Uh, it's just been an honor to work with Macy and get to know him and see what he's done in the community. And Well, Macy, I think, I know you're, you're 79 years old, and uh, I think your retirement is overdue. So thanks for everything, and uh, have a great time. Well, I have a hunch you might be headed to Nicaragua. So <laughs> I would just say, I hope he enjoys himself down there, and I hope he has an extra bedroom. So I, I will absolutely miss Macy. Um, but maybe we can all make our way down there and visit him. So uh, thanks, Macy. And uh, I really look forward to seeing you again. Macy, uh, thanks a bunch uh, for, the, for the laughs, the good times, the dinners, uh, your perspective, and, and I wish you the best of luck.
Macy, thank you for all your gifts to the Woodstock community. Uh, you've given so much to us and enabled so many things and have a grand time in your retirement. So thanks so much, Mace. Really appreciate it. All the work, all the fun, all the good times. I, I do thank uh, Macy for all he did uh, for the Woodstock Rotary Club, for the Woodstock Chamber of Commerce and for Woodstock in general. We will definitely miss you. And I'm not good at goodbyes, so um, see you soon. I counseled him not to work as hard as he was uh, for years, actually, that he'd burn out too early. And here he is burning out at 79. It's really incredible. Um, so I think the, uh, the uh, what kind of retirement advice do you give to a, a workaholic? I don't know. <laughs> what we do is is uh, is to try and keep the channels open so that people can get information to be able to form their own opinions about things. And if they decide to act on something, they can do that. I mean, they can come in here, they can learn how to make a, a television program, and we'll put it on the air. We're obligated to do that. Um, without editing or, or uh, passing judgment or uh, on, on the content, we don't have that right. And, uh, and, and it really is a, a very powerful tool for those who want to use it um, uh, to maintain freedom of speech.